This is the car. Pretty crazy, huh? This is the outside of the patio. This is the patio. This is it. Just a black light. There we go. There we go. This is their patio. This is the bees. Right. Right over there is where the bees are living. Compared to this patio next door. Hold on one second. There we go. That's nice and clean. And we're only three feet away. Not even a foot away. Anybody even walks in here? That's the door. This is her house. Look at the roaches in. Look at these roaches in here. Infested this place. This is what's climbing all over me. You want to see what I have to deal with? This is disgusting. Leave that just like that. Don't touch the box. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. This is what climbs on us when we do our bee job. Right here, they get on top of our bee suit. All this area right here. We can't even get in here. Look at this. It's on sanitary. The roaches and the rats. This is, this is just absolutely out of control. There's got to be something done about this situation. This can't go on like this anymore. It's infecting everyone. The only thing that separates this unit and that unit is that patio fence right there. It's got to be stopped. This is no longer. This is just the, the grandma claws or grandfather claws has got to be changed. These bees are embedded in inside that electricity right there that goes up inside that unit. That's where they are, right there. They could be all the way inside of her bedroom for all she knows. So, we'll get back with you in a minute. We're shoveling through here to get to, uh, to get to this place. Well, we've managed to get a path through here. Without getting killed. Let's see how our, our friends are doing. Oh, I don't Look at that. Look at that. I don't think he's going to come to the window. Crazy day. So you got how far you got in there? I'm not getting 
to the... Good Lord. Okay, I'm gonna get out of there. Remember? Yeah, remember. Okay. You hear me? Sitting no comfortable here, buddy boy. Okay. I'm gonna need that man spatula. Let me see ya! Maybe. Ain't cut up more. Give me a saw.
Okay, get everything. shot right here. Okay. You're not going to bother you. Some money, huh? Baby, this is it. Let's get out of your suit. Yeah. Is it wash out? Yeah, slowly but surely. It's like oil, isn't it? Yeah. man absolutely years and years and years and years Sticking with her. You got it. You got him? Yeah, I got you. I was going to show him the pictures of the, the reason this is happening. 
and get in my bucket. Holy smokes! Breathe! I'm gonna just... Can you look right here at me? Okay. Spell your name for us, please. Uh, Claude Griffin. C L A U D E, last name Griffin, G R I F F I N. Now mind you, I'm, I'm only okay. up to about here with the camera. Tell me, tell me what y'all, what y'all had up here today. What you were called to, and uh, uh, what you. What well, you what's taking place here is uh, the management company had a little issue with some bees, and um, they had been wanting to get on this patio and take care of it for quite some time. So. Um, they gave me a buzz to come out here and, and uh, check it out. But when I got here, I didn't realize the lady was a hoarder. And uh, so uh, it's just made everything much more difficult. We actually used a snow shovel to go into her place just to get to the bees. And we started we started at, uh, at uh, 11 just to get through here. And uh, we managed to get all the way up to the front. And what we've got, we've got years of honey that have been built up in there. And actually, they were going into her house. And by the looks of her cars and things and everything else she has, I don't think that they, uh, I don't think that they, um, I don't think they go anywhere. So what I found is the bees were actually integrating into her house. So I'm glad I got them before that because she would have never known it and she would have been bit and stung and she would have probably tried to get out of her house, but she couldn't get out of her house because of all the trash. Mm -hmm. So now if we can get the trash picked up and and get the. Uh, and get the uh, all the honey taken out of there. I think it'll be super fabulous for her, and, and she'll be safe, and she won't burn to death in our house or die from killer bee stings. Okay. You, op were... you opened it up. What did you have? So you removed some uh, some combs, some bees, some honey. What 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 next? Um, what next is I need to I need to get it all cleaned out, and uh, I managed to find the queen bee. Don't even think about stinging in my neck. Uh, I managed to find the queen bee, and uh, I got her. Easy, easy. It's okay. It's okay. You go to a better house now. Go on. Go to a better home. They, uh, but the, the roaches and the rats, they were inside there. And uh, actually, I have a piece of uh, I have a piece of honey that was covered in roaches. And I was going to show you what happens when honey is left inside your house or in a house like this. And let me get it for you. I'll get it for you up here. This. Yeah, I got a picture of that very expensively. Here in the same field. Okay. All right, let me show you something here. See all these roaches in here? This is what crawls inside your house when you leave honey inside it. Look at them. Look. They're fixing to go crazy. Look at them. Jump everywhere. Isn't that crazy? 
This they love it. They absolutely love honey. And I mean, they look at them over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, isn't that wild? And they stink. It's nasty. But this is what happens. This is pretend like this is actually a box. And this is how they live. The honey lives like here, just like this. It hangs right here. It supports itself. And then you have all the roaches in there, all over it with all the, all the larvae and all the honey and all, all the mold and mildew. But this is actually behind the lady's wall within just sheetrock. Mm -hmm. And uh, she doesn't know this, but she can hear it buzzing through the wall. Mm -hmm. But uh, other than that, this is what you get. So in your mind, you just think about how roaches and, and, and honeycombs live in your house if you don't take them out completely. Okay. She was able to stay in her home while y'all did this, right? Absolutely. I'm going to have to wrap. I got plenty here. Let me Absolutely. She was able to stay in her home while we did this. We got a fabulous management company. They took, they, they took great care of her, and you couldn't ask for a better management company. KRJ is a superb company, mm -hmm. and um, I mean, you couldn't ask for a better company than that. Okay. They, 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 they actually have been looking out after her and taking care of her for quite some time, and uh, they just went ahead and said, hey, fix the problem. Okay. Claude, can I get your name and your company? So uh, gotcha Pest Control, Claude Griffin, C-L-A-U-D-E, last name Griffin, G-R-I-F-F-I-N. Awesome. Thank you. Save the bee! Yeah. Thanks for thanks for inviting us out. I guess I'm gonna get it just a few more pictures before. Okay.